G'day viewers, Annie here. This video is about Charters Towers, where gold was discovered on Christmas Day in 1871. What a great Chrissy present. Thank you, Santa. Anyway, it's a great town. Lots of heritage buildings still remaining there. It had its own stock exchange in its day. Pretty exciting place, so sit back and enjoy. Charters Towers is located 135 kilometres southwest of Townsville in the Burdekin River Valley. The 2016 census indicates the population to be 8,200 people. During the boom time, the population was recorded as being around 30,000 people. By the 1920s, when gold had run out or was getting too deep to mine, Charters Towers turned to cattle grazing and the cattle industry. This building is the Stock Exchange building or the Stock Exchange Arcade and it was also known as the Royal Arcade. Magnificent inside. On Christmas Day 1871, Pastorus Hugh Mossman, George Clark and John Fraser were making their way through an area just south of Charters Towers and they announced the discovery of gold to the mining warden whose name was William Charters, who named the new gold field Charters Tours, T-O-R-S, as the surrounding hills reminded him of his Welsh homeland. The actual finding of the gold discovery is attributed to Jupiter Mossman, who was a young Aboriginal boy recorded as being a servant of Hugh Mossman. Um, they say that the horses were spooked by some lightning and when they wandered off to try and find the horses, Jupiter found a lump of heavy stone and um, it had quite a bit of gold in it. Hugh Mossman came from Mossman in New South Wales. He received his education at Parramatta and he initially wanted to be a pastoralist but failed to establish a successful career. He visited Queensland in 1860, hoping to acquire properties but was also unsuccessful. So then he decided he would try his hand at prospecting. In 1882, Mossman lost his left forearm in a premature explosion of dynamite and this occurred while he was fishing on the Burdekin River. Apparently he must have been using explosives as a fishing tool and it went off and blew his hand off. Jupiter Mossman tried 
tried to get into Eventide Home for the Aged in about 1941 and they weren't going to let him in because of his colour. And people of Charters Towers petitioned the Department of Health and Home Affairs to get him in and he died there at the age of 85. But his headstone records uh, that he was born in 1871 but most records I found showed he was born in 1861. Um, Hugh Mossman had the North Australian Gold Mining Company in the hills of um, Charters Towers. Charters Tower's first millionaire was a German immigrant, Frederick Pfeiffer, and he dug down over a hundred metres at the day dawn PC mine before he struck it rich. Before Charters Towers, he spent some time in Victoria, Maryborough, Dunolly, and Ballarat. He sold the day dawn to an English company for £470,000. This was his residence in Charters Towers, now called Pfeiffer House, and it's uh, been restored. Between 1871 and 1911, the Venus Battery and other mills processed more than seven million ounces of gold. There was significant trading in gold shares that Charters Towers had its own stock exchange and the building now headquarters of the National Trust houses a museum. The Brilliant Gold Mining Company worked the Brilliant Reef in 1889 and the following year its peak production was 319,572 ounces. This is an 1878 geological sketch map of the goldfields of Charters Towers. This geology map from GeoRes Globe shows the number of occurrences of gold around Charters Towers, which is quite significant. This is a photo of over one kilo gold nugget found by a gold detectorist in 2017 in the Charters Towers area. It's held by Peter, who had the business Gold City Detecting in Charters and he now has the business in Townsville. There is uh, one general permission area where people can gold detect and that's called Young's Block. I've had to go there myself but no luck. Well that's a wrap of the video of Charters Towers. Hope you enjoyed it. I've put the links and other references in the About section of the video. If you've liked it, give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. Cheers.